All right, so I just learned something truly mind boggling. So I'm from the United States of America. Typically I say the United States. Uh, and if you ask me, you know, what my nationality is, I'm gonna say American. And living in France, I would, uh, well, I don't know why it matters that I was in France, but, oh, well, oh, I don't know, just because I was often having to say what my nationality was. And I would often be saying that to people who were either Hispanic or uh, Latin X. Um, so yeah, I think I would also include, for some reason, Spanish. Why did that include? No, but also French people. So anyway, left-wing people who, uh, were, there was this complaint that by me calling myself American, I'm pretending that uh, the United States is the only country that matters in the Americas, which includes everything from Canada to Argentina, Chile, Peru, no, whatever's on the bottom. And I always found that absurd because, no, I'm not. Um, I, I've never heard... A Mexi I, I, the only time I've ever heard Mexicans or Colombians talk about how they're American is uh, is when they're trying to make this point. Um, uh, my Mexican girlfriend, she criticized me about saying that I'm American. And I said, oh, I'm sorry, you're right. You're American, too. And of course, she got mad at me because she, you know, she hates the, the U.S. Um, uh, and... Um, and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Yes, we're both American. We love America. We're both proud Americans. Uh, so anyway, so when people ask me about my nationality, I'm not responding about what continent I'm from. The Americas, what single continent I'm from, America. Uh, I'm responding uh, the best I can for my nationality. But maybe it's not the best that I can. Maybe, and what uh, some French people told me was, hey, you can say you're a United Statesan. And so it works better in French and in Spanish. I forgot. Etats Unis. Etats Unis. Etats Unis. Oh, I don't know. Anyway. So, a United States. In. And so, I've been using that since. Why not? Um, I was always annoyed when people would say, hey, don't say you're American. Say that you're from the United States. Don't give us an adjective, a demonym, because then all that bullshit. Um, but look, I've got an alternative now. So, now if... Colombians and Brazilians, they want to, they don't want to consider themselves American and they don't want, but so, that's another thing that's so weird about it. It's like, okay, so I, if you want American to represent the continent, then just ask me, oh, okay, so which country? One time that happened, someone asked me uh, where I was from. I said I was American. She said, oh, uh, me too. Uh, uh, I'm Colombian. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I'm from the United States. So that's a perfectly fine conversation. Okay, we're both Americans. So little in common, but hey, look, we've established we're both from the American continent. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So now we've gotten more specific. So now why are you like telling me off for having used American? You're American, I'm American. I'm just telling you, you know, I'm American, right? Of course, that isn't my intention. My intention is to tell them that I'm from the place between Florida and Maine, or Florida and Ohio, Florida and Maine, or Florida and Wisconsin. Because there's, there's a lot of Canada that's... Anyway. Um, so typically, I just say I'm from Chicago, by the way, to avoid any of this. But, um, oh, but then, of course, if I meet someone who's from Chicago... Oh, okay, where are you from? You better not be from the suburbs. You better not be from the Chicago metropolitan area. Oh, la, la.
Can't make anyone happy. So anyways, but I've got an alternative that should make people happy. I'm just going to say, I'm a United States in. I'm United States. Okay. So now everybody should be happy. And I was just watching a series on Netflix set in Mexico. Quien mato a Sara? A Sara. Who killed Sarah? And there's a shot in season two of a passport. It is a Mexican passport. And I've learned the true name of Mexico is Estados Unidos Mexicanos. I wanted to spend today in bed and I, I am so upset. You're fucking telling me that you're telling me I can call myself United States in, whereas my fellow North American country, just to my South, from whom I've taken territory and to whom I've done other things, is also a United States? And that's not a problem? that I'm saying I'm a United States in? I'm not pretending that the United States of America is the only United States that matters? Wait a minute. So, what the fuck do I call me? Because I always, I always thought, I always, in fact, I, I, I had anticipated something like this. I've, I've thought, there's the United Kingdom. I want, you know, Ah, so close. Darn, but why isn't it called the United States? Because then I could make this point that... Because I knew it was absurd. How can I call myself United States in? United States? United Emirates States? Or United Arab Emirate? Or whatever? How does it not bother you that I just say, Oh, I'm from the United States. But I did it to make you happy. I thought I was making the Mexicans happy. My Mexican ex-girlfriend, she said, oh, you shouldn't say you're American. You should say you're a United States in. The country you're fucking from is the United States and I'm not from there. Very, very, very upsetting. Very, very, very upsetting. Look, in an ideal world, there wouldn't be countries anyway. You know, we'd be looking at just in any interspecies distinctions. But there are countries. And how do I say which country I'm from when you ask? Say I'm from Chicago, but then what if you go, oh, how come Americans always just say the si Oh, sorry, not Americans, United States. Oh, sorry, not United States and ovens. Not, sorry, not uh, people from Chicago. No, sorry, people from the area, um, the outskirts of um, sh uh, Chicago. People from the, from the outskirts of Chicago. Oh, but why do Americans say uh, the city that they're from or say this, you know, the state? Why, why don't they say the country that they're from? My mind is blown and maybe I'm making some huge error. Maybe I'm missing something. Because how could it possibly be that a Mexican from the United Mexican States and the adjective in Spanish comes after states. So the United States Mexicans, well, we wouldn't do the ag agreement. The United States Mexican, how is it that someone from there could have told me don't call yourself American because then it's like very imposing. It's like we are the world. We are the only thing that matters in America. We are the only American thing. How could she say that and be from there?
All right, so here, maybe here's what I'm missing. It's not quite the same. To say that I'm American, I mean, none of it actually works, in, but I'm gonna try my best. To say that I'm American means by itself, I am from the American continent. If I give the response of, I am from the American continent, when someone asks me where I'm from, knowing that they are, because it's, it's implied that we're not, we don't really give a shit what your continent is. We're much more interested in what country we know, you know, country names. So when I respond about my continent, when they're asking me about my country, I am essentially, according to them, saying, giving you my continental information, can't believe they think all this stuff is happening in our brain. Um, giving them the continental information is sufficient because there is only one country uh, that matters. That's one way I could twist what people have said into something resembling reason. It doesn't quite fit because people also, there's this idea that the United States is like all of America. It's not just like the most important or something, but it's this idea that we are like claiming the Americas by calling ourselves, by defining ourselves as being the example of American, or the, the archetype of American. Um, which, the way I say it just there actually kind of sings, kind of sounds a little bit reasonable. It's not completely untrue, but it sounds a little bit reasonable. In the past, I've thought, but well, no, it's the opposite. I am instead subsuming, I am instead into the Americas. I am, I am saying United States isn't important. I'm American, I'm from that continent. If you wanna ask me a city, I'll tell you. Or the outlying 40 minutes, 30 minutes away from it, I'll say, even though it's really 40. With traffic in hour 20. So, so their accusation was, I mean, they, of course, people aren't reasonable. So they had no real, like, accusation. Basically, it was just a voice going, you know, I don't know. I don't, we're not going to get into that. Uh, we'll do that when we talk about the voice vocabulary. But, um, but yeah, it wasn't like a coherent thing in their heads. I'm trying to look at coherent renditions of it to try to see what value there might be. But in any case, it's not true. None of that is happening. I'm not feeling, I do not think at all. When I say I am American, I have a picture of the United States in my head. United States of America. I have a picture of it in my head. That's where I'm from. I see my flag. That, that's where I'm from. I am not picturing the one or two continents called the Americas. Uh, so, so that, so that is incorrect. Um, I don't even think of, we are taught in school, North America is a continent, South America is a continent. Uh, I don't even think of, I mean, it's not until I got to Europe that I started to even think of that as a singular co continent that we call plural, the Americas or, and some people are using this more and more, America. Uh, I don't think of it that way at all. North America is Canada and the United States, and then I squeeze in Mexico uh, as an afterthought. And then South America is Mexico, and then I scratch it out. And, you know, the other stuff.
And um, so, so no, I'm not, I'm not assuming that like I represent or I am all of or something like that. Anyway, so, uh, so I, so, so right. So what I could be missing is that none of that really, some of that stuff doesn't work with the United States part, right? By saying I'm a United States in, it's harder to, those renditions, those reasonable versions of, of what people have expressed, um, they no longer fit. There isn't this risk that if I say I'm from the United States and I'm talking about, and I think that that's sufficient to indicate the United States of America, that that means that I include Mexico. You know, but I promise you someone could say to me, oh, I'm a United States in two. Which United States are you from? Which United States are you really from? Oh. Uh, we're really not supposed to ask about origins. Why, why, why the fuck is she asking me anyway? Isn't that, aren't, don't you people also say that, like, don't ask about... Because she's probably interested because she probably thought I was South American at first. Everybody thinks I am. <laughs> anyway, so we'll leave it there because it's only the first 10 minutes that were important anyway. Um, but so maybe saying... I'm from the United States isn't as bad according to their logic as saying I'm American, but it does still include the part of like United States is sufficient for me to say, for you to know which country I'm talking about, which is more important. And finally, and honestly, I think that's the most reasonable one. Um, like for instance, Korea. You tell me you're from Korea, I'm assuming South Korea. You only need to say you're from Korea. And I have this Korean student, this South Korean student, who every time she talks about her country, she talks about Korea or whatever, she says South Korea, which I've always found strange. And maybe North Koreans would be really happy. Oh, wow, life is good. You don't think that you're the only Korea that that matters you specify south korea i think that that's the only one that kind of makes sense to me and that is still a problem if i say i'm a united states and even though you can also be a united states in of mexico i mean so i have to say i'm from the united states of america but is is the united states of mexico are those united states of america it's not it's united states of america it's not United States of America. It's not all the parts of America, but it is, there are these United States and they are of the set America. So can I say I'm a, I'm an American United Statesman? No, they're American United Statesmen. And in none of these conversations, by the way, were we trying to come up with new country names, which is the only kind of productive, constructive thing that we can be doing. Uh, yeah, they came up with the United States and thing. That doesn't work anymore for me. So let's rename the country. And I say that like it's absurd. It is absurd. But hey, um, I can call it another name. That's fine. It's not going to change my passport. It's still going to say American. But um says United States of America, nationality, American. All my French documents, nationality, American. So we're not going to change the paperwork right now, but we can, we can plant the seed. So what should we call, that's my question. I don't know. What should we call the United States of America? And what I mean by that is the 50 states, the 51 states, the 52 states, I don't even know how many states there are or what the definition of state is. The, 49, the 48 continental United States plus Hawaii, Alaska, Puerto Rico, and Washington, D.C. 
What's the U.S. Virgin Islands? Okay, the number doesn't matter. Oh, well, it does because that's the only way that I can tell you what's where where I'm talking about. Oh shit, the Mexican states are continental as well. Oh no 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 no. Okay, how do I tell you what I'm talking? About? Oh, okay, Neil. This place here. If I want to tell you that this is the image I have in my mind when you ask me what my official team is, I say official. When you ask me what my official team is uh, and what my cultural background is, um, I want to. It's black too, but. <laughs> anyway, tell me how to say this. I'm from the stars. Oh, will that be okay? If we Americans, will that be okay? Okay, that's what we'll do. How about that, huh? If you, if uh, if I'm, uh, we're we're star people. Okay. There you go. Question asked and answered. I'm a star person. I'm from the stars. Um, I think we have the most stars on our flag, so I think, like, just, I don't think there's anything you can say about that. So I'm from the stars, the land of stars. Um, it's in the America, the stars of the Americas, if you will. And, um, yeah, the United Stars of America. Is that okay? I mean, in all of your languages, you use the word star anyway to talk about a famous person, a celebrity, a, a star. Why, well, I don't know, actually. A star? Oh, it's a star. Can you say that in Spanish? In Portuguese, um star. A um star. A um star. So, so then you should understand what I'm talking about. I'm a star. I'm from the stars. I'm a man of the stars. Okay. All right. Well, if it, if it ha if it's more politically correct, then fuck it. Let's do it. I'm a star. One thing that I think I sort of skipped over was uh, nobody calls themselves American except for America. Okay. So, because you might be like, oh, hey, Baderas, nobody from the United States of the United States Mexican calls themselves uh, United States. And so it's okay. You can use that term. Stop like trying to like ridicule whatever. Um, yeah, but nobody calls themselves American. I've never, ever, ever, and I've traveled, I promise. Uh, I've lived in Paris for seven years. Uh, I promise you, I've never met anyone from Colombia, from Bolivia, from Paraguay, from Uruguay, from Brazil, from Argentina, from Peru, from Chi Chi Chi, from Cuba, from Belize, from Mexico, from Panama, from, from Venezuela. H. Anyway, who said from Canada? From Saint Martini? From Guadeloupe? Who said I'm American? Not once in my life. And so I just want to... I think that's important too. From Ecuador. From El Salvador. I should have... As soon as I came up with those two, I, I started recording again. From... Uh, well, this is stupid. I don't even know why I'm doing this. In, in any case, I'm not going to get all of them. I'm from the stars. That was unique. Oh...
Was I recording? Oh, Estados Unidos. Estados Unidos. No, Estados Unidos. I'm not really doing the accent, but those are the in Spanish and in French. You need Denson, I think. Or something. I should just Google it. But... but now you know that if that's correct, I didn't Google it and I'm amazing. Okay. Maybe the problem is that it's because they're speaking English. That's why I've never heard that. So my question to you is... Honestly. Be on and be honest with me, please. My Spanish-speaking friends, my Spanish, my sp Spankophone friends, my Spanophone, my Spanophone, my Spanophone friends. Do you like, do you say soy americano? Someone asks you a, a question to which this may be res the response. Is it ever the response? Ah, soy americano. Y tú? Obviously, I'm not talking about my Hispanophones in the United States. And also, I don't believe, if you're speaking Spanish, I don't believe that what you're going to want to share with them is that you're from the United States. I don't believe you. I don't even think it's said. I mean, if two people are speaking Spanish from different parts of the world, you have a Spaniard, a Colombian, and a guy from Vermont. Is the guy from Vermont going to say, uh, if, if, if he, uh, is he, is he going to say soy americano even to say I'm from the United States? <laughs> no, he's going to explain why he speaks Spanish, right? I, well, I know a guy from Vermont. He says he's Mexican. Oh, wait, was he born in Mexico? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Cause I remember, I th think I found that interesting because since I've been in France, I'm used to people not talking about where they're really from, but just talking about where they are from. And so I remember, I think I remember finding it strange that he said he was Mexican. So, yeah. So tell me in Spanish, do people go, um, you know, you're talking to your Puerto Rican and your, oh, your poor, sorry, that's a bad example. Okay, the Puerto Rican. But are they going to, no, are they going to say, I soy americano, estamos, uh, no. uh, som somo, somo, uh, nosotros, uh, ser, uh, americanos. Uh, y tú? Ah, vale, vale, Barcelona, ok, la España, la España, la España, no sé, ok. I don't know. I think they're gonna say, soy Puerto Ricano. ¿Qué? Ricano de, de, de la puerta. I don't know. It's a real question. It's a real question. So tell me. Do Spanish-speaking people, when speaking Spanish, who are from the United States, utter the words soy americano when asked about their background, origins, whatever? Or, like, where, where their country. Second question, when they're not from the United States, and that's not what they're talking about, do Spanish-speaking people speaking Spanish... I mean, first language Spanish people speaking Spanish who are not from los Estados Unidos Americanos. Los Estados Americanos Unidos. So someone from Colombia who speaks Spanish to someone else speaking Spanish from a Spanish speaking place. Are the words soy americano uttered in that conversation between these strangers? Because that would have huge implications for our conversation. It doesn't really matter because we found a perfect alternative. So, I'm from the stars. I'm just wondering how down south down there, how down there... Um, you guys um, speak with your with your with your with your tongue. Orale we, ah yo, ah chinga madre, soy americano. 
¿Por, por, qué, ¿Por qué preguntas este? No me importa. Pero sí, 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 soy americano. Uh, cabrón. ¿Qué di qué, qué he dicho? ¿Qué? Eh, dije, uh, soy americano, güera, güera, güera. Uh, joven, uh, joven, uh, huevo, uh. tengo, tengo los huevos americanos, ¿qué sabes? No, no sabes nada, no sabes nada, no sabes, no sabes cómo, cómo, cómo estar uh, en América. In, in el Amerique. En Ameriki. Arabi. Arabi. Nam, nam, nam. Nam, Arabi. Ah. Ameriki. Ah. Enta Ameriki. Ok, ok. Hola, hola, hola. Ok, ok. ¿Cuál Ameriki? ¿Cuál estados? Ah, quel état Il est noir Non, 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 mais ce que je voulais dire, c'est que... Bah putain, tu... Tu, 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 tu disais que... T'es un... Mais t'es un star, en fait. Mais je suis un star, en fait. The next time that someone... That I tell someone I'm from Chicago or whatever, and their immediate response is... Oh, you're American Oh, you're American In whatever language they're speaking, or maybe they're speaking English, you know. You meet a lot of Dutch van people that are, you know, well, RV old couples. Um, you know, you have a lot of people, you know, young Portuguese guy. I ask him, hey, where can I find some? And, uh, and we talk. And, oh, you're American. They're always surprised. They expect Americans to be white. Uh, not to be there. Um, uh, not to be so... Sly, slick, smooth. Uh, not to be living in this, <laughs> in some random city, and so they don't expect it because they think that Americans can't travel. Uh, hello, ever looked on Instagram? They think they oh gosh they're so racist they're nationalist they 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 they're always so surprised you should you should see the way they look at me when they find out I'm American it takes them a second I say I'm from Chicago they go Chicago Chicago what 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 country what country is that the South Americans uh, Chicago what did he say what did he say oh wait you're American oh the bastards. And anyway, so I hadn't even thought of how upset I should be that they are always so surprised. But what they always say, to clarify, uh, they're always their little moment of, their little clarification thing is, oh, you're American. They always use the word American, okay? It's never, oh, you're from Chicago. No, I mean, that has happened from people who know Chicago. Oh, hey, I've been to Chicago. But um, what, what I'm talking about, this moment that I'm talking about, it's never, oh, you're from Chicago. Oh, you're, oh, you're from the United States. Oh, you're from under Biden. No, it's, oh, you're American. And the next time they say that, I'll tell you how I'm going to respond. I'm to tell you, and I don't know, I, I just, because each of these I didn't plan any of these. It was just, I absolutely needed to add this other thing. So I started recording again. It was just supposed to be, because I had taken the screenshot. So I thought, oh, and then after the screenshot, they'll just be like, but it's turned out we're doing quite a lot of time. Uh, vertical, and I'm sorry about that. Maybe, maybe it's zoomed in like, no, I don't need to do it. So anyway, so um, the next time someone says that to me, I'm going to immediately avoid any issue.
I'm going to say, oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I mean, technically, yeah, but I'm not just any American. No, I'm a star. Um, no, I'm from the stars. Um, I mean, yeah, no, technically I am definitely from America, but I don't want there to be any confusion as though I'm saying like, you know, I'm American or I'm like the other, you know, or I'm all of, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm a star. I'm from the stars. And I prefer that we just refer to me that way rather than using that term American. I don't want to be associated with, um, I don't want to be confused with, you know, I don't want to be an imperialist bastard. So, so please just call me a star. Sorry, one last thing, because I just started editing and I absolutely have to say this. It's that um, I think something that's really, really important is to that we start flipping the map um, so that we lose our sense of up and down as far as the countries go. Um, there are a lot of apps and stuff and a lot of, you can buy printouts of, of, of maps that are another way rather than the way we typically see. Uh, so then, cause I'm, I'm just looking at the part where I said, uh, the America's all the way up from Canada and I could, and, and then whatever's at the bottom. The United States is the only country that matters in the Americas which includes everything from Canada to Argentina, Chile, Peru, no. So it would be better uh, if I, if that wasn't my go-to representation, um, my only representation really, my only concept of geography. And if instead I could, without at all feeling uncomfortable, say so that goes from oh, I should have looked it up that goes from the 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 northern the the upper tip of the American peninsula down through the Andes whatever anyway uh and then you get down and you go you get to uh Mexico and now you're getting into the bottom Americas and then it kind of widens, and then you hit the United States of America, which has a confusing name, I admit, because there are lots of actually, there are, there's another United States in America. Uh, and America's like the whole thing. Uh, anyway. And then you go all the way down to the bottom, and you've got this gigantic, oh, but it's actually, of course, not as big as it looks, again, in our representation. Uh, but in this representation, it's still big, though. Uh, either way, Canada's a huge place. And then at the bottom, you got all this land uh, of Canada. And I'm from the second to last. Second to the bottom most thing. But I think the best way to just say is I'm a star. Estados Unidos... De la America, America, go, Amerigo, Amerigo, Vespucci, Vesucci, Succi, shoot, shit, sit, city, zen, city, hente. I'm a gente of the city, Chicago, Americano, Chicano, Chico, Cholo, Loco, Cor. Estados Unidos, Estamos Unidos, Je Unide. Gente de la cité, tu peux me citer, no esta estrella, esto es estrella. Mm, that wasn't as good as the last one. Wait, damn it, stop the export. 
Um, I realized that the fuck, what was it? I realized that uh, it doesn't matter what Spanish speakers say to each other. The question is, what does a Spanish speaker speaking Spanish say to an Italian in Italy when they greet each other and they want to talk about where they're from? What does he say? Let's say he's from the American continent. He's not actually Spanish. What does he say? Tell me. So the Italian goes... A oh, ciao, uh, yo, uh, italiana, uh, uh, e, uh, mia ma ma ragazza, sonos, sonos italianas, e, tu, dove, De dove vengas? Uh, <laughs> ah, yo? Uh, si, sí, chica, chica. Uh, ¿Entiendes español? Uh, entiendo uh, un poco uh, italiano porque uh, uh, dos lenguas uh, comparables. Pero, uh, ¿entiendes uh, español? ¿Por qué? Uh, quiero contestar en español, por favor. Sí, 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 capito. Uh, sí, 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 uh, que, 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 que pio, que pio, uh, español. Sí, sí, sí. Ok, uh, soy americano. Is that how it plays out? Tell me, tell me. Oh, oh, voy, uh, stay, uh, voy, stay, uh, esta, do, estados unidensen, unidensen, unidensen. Oh, uh, New York, uh, Los Angeles. Ah, um, no, 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 no. Uh, ah, Estados Unidos, dicen, Dina, Dano. Sí, sí. Soy americano, soy Estados Unidos, sí, sí, sí. Ah, Miami, New York, Los Angeles, Chicago. No, es, no soy un Estados Unidos en americano de, de los estados uh, así, los estados, no, uh, uh, no, 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 chica, oh, wey, escúchala, wey, no, soy in Estados Unidos, Unidos in Mexicanos, de Mexica, de Estados Unidos, Mexicanos, so I, Americano, Estados Unidos, in, pero los Estados, estamos Mexicanos. Is that how it plays out? Oh, I mean, the, uh, los estados están mexicanos. No, son, son. C'est ça que je cherchais depuis tout à l'heure. Les estados son mexicanos. I, can I speak Spanish without doing that accent? No, no, no. Les, les estados son mexicanos. Oh, I want to go. I want to track it out. I have a Spanish student. <laughs> he says he likes my accent when I speak Spanish. When I like ask him to uh, translate something. 
So I, I give them an example in bad Spanish, and I say, now say that to me in English. Which is probably not a, which is actually not a, I don't do it often. I do it too often, but but I, I do recognize it's not a great language learning technique, or teaching technique. I just like to. <laughs> okay. Follow from, oh, okay.